You have called energy from the Sirius. Welcome! So you're energy from the Sirius? Yes. Welcome. Um, I'm really happy that you visited. Calm enlightenment is our goal for all of humanity. As you know. Excellent. We well, are... Mm -hmm. Ready to help whenever you are ready to accept. Many of your people still doubt that we exist, that aliens, as they call them, are out here, but we want to help. I know that sometimes you think our messages are too soft, yes. but they are not. Let me tell you why. A soft touch is necessary for those humans that we are contacting. Those with hard exteriors, hard thought processes, need the soothing softness of our message. This will give them alternative thoughts, alternative thinking processes. They are subliminal and very powerful. This will help calm the struggles within them so that they may be able to realize who they really are. Does this make sense? Yes, to you? perfect sense. Thank you. So our messages are soft. We are not a harsh people. Uh huh. Our messages are powerful, however. Mm -hmm. There is so much strength in the power of love, mm -hmm. hope, and positivity and light. Mm -hmm. Therefore, our message to you today is to surround yourself with the positive. Thank you. Do not be harsh. Harshness has no proper healing capacities. It has no communicative value to us. Okay. It only confuses the words that are being spoken mm -hmm. and makes them less. I'm so happy that you came through. You sound very good. Thank you. Uh, it uh, sounds like it's easy for you to go through. What's your name? Cynthia. 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 Do, can you say your planet or star? It is not necessary. All right. The names of all the planets are different in every language. For you to know the name of our planet will not help you find it. But is it one of three serious stars? Yes. Which one is that? Well, <laughs> it does not matter. Okay. Their name for it is different than ours. That's fine. What is... Uh, are you human? Humanoid? Do you look like human? We are humanoid, yes. Uh-huh. Four-dimensional? There are those of us that are fourth-dimensional, yes. Oh, so some of those of your species are fifth and sixth? There are assorted dimensions within our species. Uh-huh. Yes. So you have hands and two eyes and you can walk? Yes. Can you fly? Well, I suppose that is the word. Oh, glide? Yes, that could be a 
word as well. So yeah. just without any technology, you just can mentally can mm -hmm. glide over the yes, surface. Yes, our mental capacities are such that we can move and in ways which we please, that pleases us. From my childhood, I have dreams. Very often, when I glide over the surface, it's always on Earth, but I glide. For humans, it's very unusual. And I say, hey, people, I'm, I'm flying over you. See, mm -hmm. is it because I'm from Sirius? <laughs> you are not from Sirius. Thank you. But you have... Allies who are um, allies. So, I was. I read that you were involved in Atlantis and gave a lot of knowledge to Atlantean priests. Is it about right? We have always been friends of the Atlanteans. Uh huh. Are, are you genetics? Are you our ancestors? We have some DNA left on Earth. Excellent. Do I have uh, your DNA? No. Ah. Yes, yeah, Syrians were said to be in Africa, right? The black ones. Are you black? I am a darker color, but not black. Like coffee? Chocolate? <laughs> Chocolate. Hmm. Do you look pretty to humans? I imagine some will, some humans might find me attractive. Are you female? Yes. Hmm. Do you have families? Yes. Do you have children yeah. and families living with parents? In some situations. So yes. normally children what would not live with parents? They would live elsewhere. It depends on the, what the parents want for their children. Do you live uh, <clears throat> long lives, like hundreds of years? We li live lives that are several centuries long. When you are born, do you keep the memories from previous incarnations or you start over? We start over as you do, oh. but we can recall our memories, our lives, just as you can with the help of others. Uh, are you familiar with Jesus? Is Jesus one of your saints? Yes, but we do not call him Jesus. I, of course. Um, he is our mentor. Excellent. Um, is he telling parables as well in your culture? Parables. Stories? Stories, yes. Is he a good storyteller? Yes. Can you tell one of his stories? If I can recall. Please. Let me check with my systems. Yes. Ah. Yes. He was telling about the young boy who visited the cave. And the boy went into the cave deeper and deeper. And he knew he was not supposed to. He was told by his parents that this was a dangerous place. But yet he went in deeper. And as he went in, he saw many side caves and tunnels. And he started moving through them. And he got lost. And he couldn't find his way home out through the front of the cave. His parents became very concerned. But they loved the boy. So they went and they sat with the wise men of the city and asked them, please, would you come help us find our son? And the wise men of the city said, indeed, 
But was he just being disobedient? And they agreed that he was. But they went to help him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Because they all have children that they love, and they all have children that have disobeyed. Yes. So they took a team, and they went in, and they found the child, and brought him to his parents. And the parents were so relieved that they did not punish the child, and he became a leader of the city. Do you know why? Because he was lost and was helped, although he was disobedient, was forgiven. He was nurtured, even though he was disobedient, and he grew up into the light. And this is one of the stories that he tells. It probably misses something in the translation, but I think the idea behind it is still satisfactory. All the stories of Jesus we know in translation, so it's not unusual. Um, do you have children? I have one child. Do you hug them? Yes. Does, did he grow up with you? Yes, it is a male child. So... And he has been with me by my side for many years. Ah, was he disobedient? All children disobey. Ah. Are you telepathic? I can be, yes. Can you speak vocally? Well, yes. Can you sing? I can. Wow. So Syrians are not that much different from us. There are little differences in all species. Yeah, but you're close. Like yeah. Pleiadians, right? Pleiadians are close. Are you familiar with Pleiadians? You're friends, right? You had alliance. Yes, we are familiar with Pleiadians. How different are you from Pleiadians in physicals? They are taller. Oh. They are blue, green, sometimes gray. We are not. We are brown and cream and sometimes a little mauve. Biology-wise, physiology-wise, what makes you different? We are not as solid. Ah, not as solid. So you can kind of diffuse into, change we can, space? We can change space and sometimes even change appearance. Can you hug a human? I have never tried. But if you hug, would you be harmed? No. So, your blood is red? No. Ah, oh, what color is your blood then? brown. Oh, that's pretty much red. So is it oxygen based? Do you breathe oxygen? Yes. So you might survive on Earth if you were without mask? No, we still needing a breathing apparatus. But the pressure would be fine? Yes. And the gravity would be fine? Yes. Have you have your species visited Earth before? Recently? Not recently, many thousand years ago. Many thousands. Do we have a historical records? Was it he, uh, Egyptian pharaohs which were Syrians or there at that time? We were involved with the Egyptians. We do have some mixing with them. Uh, there were Jewish tribe, I forgot the name. Jewish tribe in Egypt, Jewish... Uh, Kings in Egypt before the Moses, before yes. the Exodus. I forgot the name. Was it Syrians in any way or not? There were Syrians. We in, in Syria. What, what is Assyrians? Uh, what is uh, connected to Syria? Obviously, they were right. Yes. Hmm. But the the frisks the 
images are so human of Syria, uh, the the you know the culture of Syria and yes. Assyria, Babylonians. They have very human fresks. Yes. And Egyptians have very less less modern. They were very different. Yes. So you were connected to both cultures, right? Yes. Hmm. So what human race would be closest to yours? I would have to check that. Now or later? Well, the Atlanteans were their closest. Yeah, but we don't know who they were. Like of recent races. Would it be something in Africa? Jews? Arabs? Palestinians? The Middle East would be have more of our DNA than any other. Near East? Like things around Israel? Mm, yes. More Jordan area. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jordan. How about the Iranians? Are they close to, to you? We have been there. I know where that is. How about Armenians? Are Armenians carrying a lot of Syrian DNA? Yes. Excellent. Are you connected to Aryans? Which ones? Aryans? Mm. I yeah. don't know. Nordics? Orions? The Pleiadians. I'm closer to this, right? Yes. We know of Grokrofik near. Uh huh. We know that they are growing. Excellent. Are your people in solar system? <clears throat> Our people are not. I see. What makes you proud? That we can help humanity. Thank you. That it was once something that you could relate to. Yes. We are proud of who we are. As a species, uh -huh. we are proud of love that we give to other species as well, and guidance. We are sometimes tutorial to other species that yes. are that are learning how to survive and not as advanced as others. How do you call God? <clears throat> I did not understand that. Do you call the God all that is, or what's your name for the God? Do you want it in English? Yeah, just the translation. How do you refer to God? He who is. He who is. Would it be no male, no female, just it? What is? Yes, he is many. Uh huh. We share that with many, many species. Can you translate one of your prayers or blessings? A prayer to the Most High? Yes. Or maybe you can first say it in your language and then translate it, if, if you may. Well, I can translate. Either way, what would you like? First, say in your language and then translate if you may. Fences. Kochisiste. Hoshmi. Vilvata. Fofmi. Simste. Kemkelikia. Mm. Dieteratia. Mm. Pokhstiatin. Kinjio. Kurtibla. But. Most holy one of light, love, and understanding, we bow down to you and ask that you give us your favor, that we may glow with love as you do, that we may understand the light in which you come to us in. Prepare us for a way of love. Prepare us in our affections for one another. Care for us like none other. We love you and we give you ourselves as an offering. Praise 
an alleluia. Amen. Is it Jim now? Yes. Hey, Jim. It was a nice visit. We had uh, a Syrian. <laughs>